Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Tarek Juster from findoutaboutplastics.com and today we discuss the polymer material selection for outdoor applications. I've selected three major polymer polymers which we will discuss here in detail. Okay, let us get started. So important point for outdoor applications are the requirements. And when you think uh, in terms of plastic part failure, there are five major categories you can uh, uh, trace back the, the failure mechanism. So we have environmental uh, impact, thermal impact, chemicals and mechanical, as well as the time which is overarching all these four elements, environmental, thermal, chemicals and mechanical. And now for outdoor applications. We have a, a special look at the environmental point. So in, in general you can say that the service life of a plastic part in outdoor environment dep depends on the on the U ultraviolet radiation, so the UV light which is um, uh, is put onto the part and this in combination uh, with the part orientation in relation to the sun. So if the part gets a lot of, of this UV radiation, then the climate itself. So we have to look at the operating temperature range and uh, the presence or absence of humidity, which can also degrade the, the plastic. Then the latitude. So if you're north south position on the on the earth, then the part geometry itself, the color of the material and the mechanical stresses on the part. So in, in general, the weathering resistance of some polymer compounds can be improved by adding some UV stabilizers or uh, use UV resistant caps to protect the, the base polymer to not split up the main chain and decrease the molecular weight. Okay. There are many outdoor applications, so here I give you an overview of the different uh, applications and most of you, uh, most of them you are familiar with. So for example, when you take the playground equipment, we have outdoor furniture, uh, greenhouses, you can see here, uh, the swimming pool, swimming pool equipment, uh, and al also when you think of visiting the park, park benches, tables and chairs, they all use uh, plastics the question is now which one which one you can use which one you can select for such applications so the first one we have a look uh, uh, at are the acrylic polymers so mainly PMMA and also ASA uh, PMMA and ASA they have uh, both excellent weather resistance so you can use them outdoors without showing molecular way degradation they can uh, endure extreme cold, they can endure the salt waters and also high levels of UV light. And uh, from the temperatures, yeah, you can say up to 80, 85 degrees C, you can use them. Durability, so they can resist uh, scratches, uh, dents, uh, so the outdoor structure will, will be staying strong for longer. And you can also replace glass with acrylic sheets. Also the impact behavior. So uh, acrylics are perfect for heavy duty use because of this impact uh, resistance and also superior light transmission. So this is uh, perfect for outdoor glazing applications. Then the second polymer um, are the polycarbonates PC and here a polycarbonate uh, is really the one major property is the high impact resistance so when you think of certain parts of the world where we have hurricanes you can uh, panels made out of polycarbonate are used to to protect against hurricane impact then we have also highly transparent pro properties which make it suitable for greenhouses, nurseries and skylight applications. Then it's uh, uh, a tough material, so 
it is, has a superior toughness compared to acrylic. We have also a heat resistance, so it can withstand up to 140 degrees C of heat, and is also uh, UV resistant, together with lightweight and uh, durable. Then uh, the third polymer is high density polyethylene. So when you think of HTP, it is incredible enduring. So it can sustain a substantial amount of weight together um, with more softness. So it's softer than acrylic and polycarbonate, which makes it a safe material for outdoor applications. And in case it um, chips or cracks, uh, it does not have these sharp uh, and dangerous edges compared to uh, polycarbonate, for example, which can cause them injuries. It is an easy to use material. It can be easily shaped into boards and sheets. And when you think of this outdoor structure like furniture and playground material, those are all made out of HTP, uh, also due to this easy to use reason. Then we have a uh, really good chemical resistance towards acids, alcohols and bases. And also HTP is, is perfect for public places because it can repel any graffiti. And we have a corrosion resistant material ball, which is also durable. So it can really outlast uh, many other kinds of plastics. Okay, so we discussed already the UV uh, resistance and a part of the Pima May a ASA, PC and HTP. We have here um, uh, further UV resistant uh, polymers, for example, polyethylamide, polysulfones, polyphenylene sulfides, so PPS, and also all flu polymers like P PTFE, uh, to name, uh, are, are excellent uh, towards the UV. So, uh, when you compare those to other plastics, they exhibit, so the other plastics exhibit also color changes and also then a loss of elongation, loss of mechanical strength. Okay, if you want to f uh, have more information on polymer engineering topics, I highly recommend you my blog, findoutaboutplastics.com, as well as my online courses on polymer material selection. I will link you both the blog and the online courses in the description below. Okay, which video to watch next? So here, I have uh, selected a video on polymer material selection for automotive applications. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Till next time, bye!